Welcome to the Vermont Concerned Citizen channel. We are a patriotic community here. I hope you enjoy the video and please consider supporting us on Patreon. Okay, I'm going to give you my simple opinion. Maybe you're like me. Last fall, early this winter, I was contemplating the G3 over the G2C. I bought the G3 first. All I can tell you, the G3 is phenomenal. The trigger is phenomenal. The accuracy is phenomenal. Comes with two 15 round magazines. The G2C, which I just picked up last week, comes with two 12 round magazines. I think the G2C is a little bit snappier, and the trigger is not as nice as the G3. So if you want a little bit better accuracy, maybe it's just me, the G2 has the factory sights. The rear is adjustable, where the G3, if you see in my other videos, comes with a fixed plastic sight, but I upgraded these to the Lake Line Fiber Optics. In my opinion, they're basically both about the same price. $250 plus or minus, depends on where you get them. Get the G3 if you like a longer barrel, what Taurus is calling a full size. I don't agree with it being full size. Maybe if you have small hands it would be full size. But anyways, you want something compactable, you're going to use it for concealed carry. I can tell you that the G2C is a little more concealable, but I'm a big guy and I can hide this G3 just as well. So if you're a little bit skinnier frame, smaller, you know, it's a trade-off, but... For trigger, pull, the smoothness, the crispness, they both have it. But in my opinion, the G3 has a little edge and a little vantage over the G2C. So, anyways, like I said, if you're going to get a new Taurus pistol, G2C or G3, go with the G3. You won't be disappointed. But if you have the G2C, you can still put the G3 mags in there. But unfortunately... The G2C mags won't work in the G3, so it is what it is, folks. You are your first and last line of defense. Keep that powder dry. Be safe. Stay armed. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for future videos.